Hey there guys and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. My opponent this time is Mansur50, the guy who beat me in the Pokemon X and Y tournament a while back. So I still have a score to settle with him. He leads off with a Gallade, as I lead off with Weavile. Not exactly a good choice for me. Weavile quadruple weakness to fighting, plus being frail as hell. But he goes for Ice Punch instead, I guess he predicted a switch and I kind of was predicting him to switch. So go for Knock Off. And it actually kills him, because Gallade is not exactly bulky himself either. He had a choice scarf, which explains why he outsped Weavile. But yeah, that could have gone a whole lot worse for me. Brings out Entei. That's probably one of those event ones with Flare Blitz and Extreme Speed, so I'm gonna get Weavile out of there. And bring in Clawwitzer, because it's decently bulky and hopefully it can take a fire move. As he goes for an Extreme Speed, so it's definitely an event one. Clawitzer takes it fairly well, can definitely take another one of those, so he switches Entei out, expecting the water move, brings in Swampert. Which I suppose works. Go for the Water Pulse, Mega Launcher boosted. And that's still not all that impressive. Honestly, Clawitzer, it's just underwhelming. With It has a huge-ass arm cannon, and then it only has a base 120 special attack. That is awfully average. I was expecting base 140 at least when I saw this thing. I mean, if a Pokemon like Chandelure can have base 145 special attack, then why can't Clawwitzer have a little higher? Anyway, the water pulses aren't really cutting it, and I'm not getting lucky with the confusion either, and an earthquake does in Clawwitzer. So that's a bit of a bummer. I like Clawwitzer's design, it's awesome, it's just so bad. Bring out Noivern, because Noivern outspeeds. Go for the Boom Burst. Could have gone for Draco Meteor, but I didn't want the special attack to drop. Could have gone for Hurricane, didn't want it to miss. So Boom Burst seemed like the safest option. And luckily it got the kill. Brings out Entei again. Noivern does not really want to take an extreme speed. Because it's awfully frail as well. But I figure maybe it'll take one, at least. And he barely does. It's a critical hit, actually. So he would have taken that fairly well I believe, go for the Draco Meteor, not expecting the KO here because Noivern isn't that strong, but it's a solid 2 hit KO if it weren't for the special attack drop and then Life Orb Rico kills off Noivern. Oh well, you can't always win Noivern. Bring out Cobalion, because I'm fairly certain Cobalion outspeeds Entei, resists extreme speed, he could go for Flare Blitz but there's the risk of me taking him out first. Brings out a Landorus. And that's going to take the Sacred Sword pretty well, because this is a non-offensive Cobalion. And I can't even Volt Switch out, because Landorus is a Ground-type. So I have to switch out the old-fashioned way, bring in Hawlucha, because I was predicting an Earthquake. And my predictions were correct. So Hawlucha goes for the Power Herb Sky Attack, does what he does best. Hopefully this is going to deal some massive damage, because Hawlucha is not really that powerful. Let's see what this does... Not too shabby, he goes for U-turn. I'm not really sure what he, what else he could have done, I guess maybe Stone Edge. That wouldn't have hit Hawlucha that hard though, the recoil from Life Orb almost kills him. And in comes his own Noivern. However, Hawlucha's Unburden has activated now. Acrobatics, is that gonna kill Noivern? Of course not. Because Hawlucha, I think it has like base 90 something attack, which is awfully meh. Definitely needs some sort of attack boost to be able to one-hit KO things. And then Draco Meteor just destroys Hawlucha. Poor Hawlucha, your design is cool, but you could be so much better. Weavile. His Noivern's at minus two now, and I'm pretty sure Weavile outspeeds. Hence his switch, and he may also have been predicting an Ice Shard. Which is not entirely uncommon on Weavile, I must admit. So he brings Entei out again. And I go for Knock Off. I kind of figured he'd switch Noivern out, and Knock Off is going to finish off the Entei. So that's a pretty major threat out of the way. Choice Bandit Entei as well. That actually makes Noivern taking that extreme speed even more impressive, because it was a Bandit one. Out comes his Shaman. Weavile's definitely going to be faster. Is he going to be strong enough for the win at KO? Not quite. But I do get the lucky freeze. Fate is finally on my side for once. Shaman's frozen solid, he doesn't break out. And I go for power-up punch to get the kill. 
and also a nice little attack boost which is hopefully gonna come in handy an awful lot against whatever he brings out next a noi oh well the noivern again is he gonna outspeed nope weavile is gonna outspeed <clears throat> i think weavile is barely faster I think Weavile has base 125 and Neuvern has like base 123 speed. Next he brings out his Landorus again, which is his final Pokemon. So yeah, Weavile easily outspeeds and kills that as well. Pretty damn good showing for Weavile. I think it's definitely a very underrated Pokemon, because I don't see Weavile too often. Anyway, good battle, Mancer. I finally got my revenge. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.